Mama told me, boy, you gon' be a star, yeah I was born just to be the boss, yeah Push the star, don't need key to car uh, I be kicking up, check my sneaker star What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, B Sneaks Back once again with another I'm back with another quick but dope review of a dope Jordan release. I know I say dope a lot, but and I say this enough, this was definitely a release that I really wasn't looking too much forward to or even that excited or hyped about. But getting these in hand, I did kind of change my stance on them a little bit. But this was definitely a dope release. And sadly, yes, a lot of these shoes have been getting pushed back a lot due to the things happening right now in our world. But either way, they finally dropped. And so we did have the honors of Jordan Brand giving us the Jordan 6 Neutral Gray or Hair 6 colorway that dropped yesterday on Wednesday, June 17th for the price of $190. This isn't the first time that we've gotten this colorway. We actually are more used to getting this colorway on the Retro 7s. I am gonna show you all those right here. Jordan Brand really did a great job with this release. Although it got pushed back a few times, they still did not skimp us on this. It was just a $190 shoe like usual, but they did give us pretty good material on it like I will show you in the review. And I really just like that they executed it really well with the past releases from the Jordan 7 hair that I just showed y'all previously. And I am gonna show y'all all that in the review and as to why it kind of did kind of change my stance and kind of my opinion on how I felt about this shoe but without further ado before we jump straight into this review if you are new to the channel tap in with me for the first time today like I said my name is B I go by B sneaks if you like any sort of sneaker related content clothing fashion on foot styling videos lookbooks all that good stuff then feel free to hit that subscribe down below and also hit that notification bell so you're locked in tapped in for everything that I got coming out I'm dropping stuff regularly almost every single week and so I'm trying to always give y'all good, fresh content. And if you like that kind of stuff, then like I said, feel free to hit that subscribe down below. But let's get straight into this review over the Hair 6 Retro. Let's get straight into this review. As I said earlier, I was very impressed with the materials on this release. They went with a very thick cut in the leather for the outer portions where it's white. It's a very, very thick cut leather, but a very nice soft leather though, nonetheless. It does have those nice hits of neutral gray nubuck on the side panels. It also does have the infamous 2-3 on all Jordan 6s as it has that I'm tracing out to y'all. I thought that's always a clean touch that they give to the retro Jordan 6s is that little 2-3 on the side panel. The midsole that I'm pointing out to y'all, that all white midsole, a lot of times with Jordan 6s, they'll do different, like several different colors on the midsole. So it was kind of interesting that they decide to go with just one color on that midsole. And then as we lead on to the outsole, it is gonna have that red translucent. It's a very interesting red color. I don't wanna call it pink, and I don't even wanna call it infrared either, but it's just a very interesting, vibrant red that they decide to go with. And then as we move on to the front portion of the shoe, like I said, we have that neutral gray nubuck. A lot of times, 
whenever we get new buck on shoes we always think that it's just a cheaper alternative to us getting like nice quality with the suede but the new buck is actually really really nice a very nice touch they did only give us one pair of laces just flat white laces and then on the tongue portion that one piece tongue that sixes go with we have that red on there too with that black jump man leading up we do also have that carrot coloring for that lace lock i thought that was a very dope touch to the hair six and then another portion of the shoe that makes it very resemblant to the jordan seven is how they did the tongue they gave us multicolor on the tongue in the front as you can see with that translucent over it and then they also as i flip it around they did that also on the back as well as we lead to the back we do have that indigo purple looking jump man air on the back i thought that was a clean nice little touch to wrap into this colorway and then as you can see from behind the tongue they still gave us that multicolor on the tongue like they do on sevens as well and then we also do have that multicolor red yellow green and gray on the insole as well a very very nice touch to this shoe and then as we lead on to the outsole as I, like i said it has that red translucent and then we have that little hit of green and then that white and then also that indigo purple looking jump man on the bottom as well just tying in this clean clean release very 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 impressed with this release definitely blew my expectations all the way around lastly i did just want to show one last detail to this shoe that i wasn't able to show in the review just because it was hard to get the camera to pick up on it but it is clean how they decide to give us that 3m hit on the side portion of the shoe just because from the past hair releases that we've got we didn't get 3m on either of those so it was nice to see jordan brand throw that little touch in there on this release and i thought it was a very clean subtle hit and it definitely picks up whenever light shines over the shoe they have that 3m little reflective hit but that's wrapping up this review right here a lot of relax on my other niggas is overreacting that's how we continue down the path of jordan and jackson that's some insight for y'all even if no one's asking last year niggas really feel like they rode on me last year niggas got hot because they told on me i'm about to call the bluff for anybody that fold on me i'm buying the building at every door that closed on me yeah lord piana and brioni the one and only the champagne papa the love doctor your baby mother called me when she lonely my tailor see me twice a week he like my homie forever grateful forever thankful diamond necklace but she wears it on her ankle the bitch is trendy my enemies send each other the text that they could never send me i'm banking two million a show for the residency nevada gaming commission in a frenzy how much money can this casino lend me Ripping markers up over shots of the Henny. Vivid memory, can someone send me? A real nigga in a loop. To meet Benny Hanna is pigeon food. It's not a forgiving move. So much we gotta count the 20s up in a different room. We made it to the end once again, guys. Like always, I appreciate every single one of y'all that decided to stick with me to the end of the video. Like I said, this was a dope release that definitely exceeded my expectations for how the materials and just how the shoe was gonna be all together definitely exceeded my expectations and I'm very pleased that I was able to cop and like always guys you know I'm always gonna be continually giving y'all good content and new releases even older releases all that good stuff to all my newcomers like I said if you haven't tapped in with the boy before hit that subscribe down below and also hit that notification bell so it'll lock you in for anything that I'm dropping going forward um you with YouTube guys likes go a big way just because YouTube has this whole like crazy little algorithm that they use that help your channel grow so a like goes a long way in helping my channel grow so if always if you enjoyed the video please hit that like down below guys helps me out and like I said guys from the past videos we will be doing that subscriber giveaway like I said once he hit 200 subscribers I'm not really sure where we're at right now but I think we're we're pretty close getting getting pretty close and so like I said 200 subscribers dope little giveaway to give back to y'all for rocking with me and just want to continue to do good stuff for y'all since y'all been sticking with me since day one like always guys uh the top three jordan five retros those drop saturday june 20th i would do june 20th yes saturday saturday june 20th for 200 sheesh jordan brand jordan brand don't care about our pockets but they always gonna keep giving us stuff but yeah so those drop june 20th saturday definitely be on the lookout 
try to tap in and do all the things you need to do so that way you can secure your pair as usual. And like I said, that's all I got for y'all today, guys. Y'all stay safe out here and be sneaks. I'm out of here.